What is up, everybody? It is Wick here, and I'm out looking for treasure in Goodwill right now. I see some unique-looking pieces up there. Looks like a nativity camel, maybe some other pieces. Checked them out. Not really valuable. This kind of looked like Yadro. No, nothing great. $3.99, made in China. There's like an opium pillow up there. Just a, a remade thing. Here's some interesting birds made in Japan. I can't remember the maker but i see these a lot i looked them up not really selling at all here's a unicorn i also looked this up and well this was actually worth buying i think i could sell that for some decent profit so went ahead and grabbed that get that listed on ebay hopefully get it sold what else do we have i actually have that exact same opium pillow somebody gave me probably just going to donate it actually because well, they're just not worth anything, at least the remade ones. Multiple different angels, but I don't see anything else special. Now, this was in my last video, <laughs> this uh, 49ers hat. This is actually the day I found it. Uh, somehow the footage got mixed up. So, yeah, I found that 49ers hat, which is a pretty good seller. And, yeah, we'll take it because, well... A uh, dollar forty-nine for a vintage hat is is pretty good. Most Goodwills price them three to five dollars. I don't know why this Goodwill just decided not to price up their hats. So thank you Goodwill for that. Um, shame on you other Goodwills for pricing them up. But over here in the shoes, I see these. I forget what they are. I think born shoes. Maybe is that what they are? I'm not sure. I remember researching them and determining they're not worth picking up, but. Here's some Dr. Comfort shoes, and I realize, hey, these are going to be pretty good. They look almost new. I think I've already sold those. Uh, I think I sold them for like $30, $35, so that's great. And if you could, hit that like button. It really helps me out. Checking out the rest of the shoes here. I'm not seeing anything else. I really want to buy, at least in the condition it might be in. But look in this Goodwill. $7.99 for a big tote full of Lego you can't beat that. Usually Goodwill prices Lego just obscene. And in this Goodwill, well, there's a bunch of Lionel Train ornaments for 99 cents a piece. I grabbed all of them. Should be able to make some money on those. And then I head over to our rummage sale. And I was the first one in. I was pretty excited. Then I just started noticing eh, everything's kind of junky. It's not very big. It happens. It happens a lot, actually. <laughs> but... Yeah, they had some weird prices as well. There's a new era hat they had over by the where you pay, kind of trying to protect it, I guess. And uh, they had, to, I think it was 40 or $50 they had on it. Uh, just not worth that at all. Used, maybe worth $5. Uh, there's also a duffel bag over there they had $50 on, and it was like a no name brand duffel bag. I don't know what was going on. Some of the other stuff was priced low. I did get something, which I'll show you in the haul. <laughs> from this rummage cell nothing spectacular though but yeah we just move on to well this is the next day we're in a goodwill same goodwill again and i got the uh, beast plush in here i think i can make some money on that priced pretty fair so he went in the cart pushing him around <laughs> was just looking weird i guess to everybody pushing that around like that but Check in the Christmas stuff. It's that time of year. Halloween has moved past and starting to see some Christmas items out. Some vintage bulbs. And I already found some really good Christmas items. Uh, you'll see those in future videos, though. In my preview footage, that looks like a ceramic Christmas tree. But there's no way I missed a ceramic Christmas tree. Uh, I, I would refuse to believe that. Been looking for one for a long time, but... In this Goodwill, I got some great stuff. Baseball glove. I sold, I just shipped out that baseball glove this morning. I sold it for $75. Got some brand new Skechers shoes. Uh, brand new uh, vintage coffee maker in there. Of course, I'm going to go over everything here in a couple minutes in the haul part of the video. So stay tuned if you want to see what else. I also got some local buys and some other things to show you like this. Clarence, I got at Home Depot. Got a cart full of it. And there's going to be some great profit there. I even got some drain cleaner, which I bought because, well, my drain's starting to slow. So I want to 
get a head start on it. But let me show you everything I got today. Some great finds. So I'm back home. I'm finishing up a Amazon shipment. I want to get a couple things that I bought today sent in that one. So I wanted to record these real quick. I got this Who Knew game and this Telestrations game. And I'll make about $30 between the both of them. So I wanted to show that as part of this haul. Check it out. Here's my haul for today. Got some great items to show you. This is from a couple days of sourcing. I'll start down here on the floor. I got this Coleman Lantern. I paid $20 for. This was a local buy. I think I can sell this for about $70 plus shipping with the case. It's in good condition in there. So I went ahead and bought it. Down here, I got this tote of Lego. I mean, it was only $7.99. I had to buy it. I do see a few random toys in there, but the majority of it's Lego. This is one of those things, uh, tote this large, I see sell on Facebook Marketplace. $40, $50, sometimes up to $100, depending on what type of Lego are in there. For now, I'm going to put it with the rest of my Legos in storage that I've bought over the years. And one day, I'm just going to make totes full of them. So I'm probably on Facebook Marketplace, maybe eBay. It just depends what I got. You know, I'd like to get all the Bionicles and put you know, separate those because those were a lot better, stuff like that. But I think I could make at least $40 there selling that locally. Here are some shoe deals. And I got these Doc Martens. Not Doc Martens. They're Dr. Comfort. I wish they were Doc Martens. Got these for $5 at Goodwill. They're still going to be worth selling. They're in great condition. Not even sure if they've been used. But I can sell these for $35, $40. No problem in this condition. And then I got these Skechers shoes. And these are size 14. Kind of work shoes. I think they're steel-toed. Might just be work shoes. And I paid up for these. I paid $20 a piece for them. And you can see there... I have to take off this $50 sticker because I think I can sell those for $60 plus shipping just because of the size being larger and more rare. So I do think I'll make around $25 profit a piece on these. You know, worst case scenario, I still make $30 or $40 selling them new. They're easy to list. I've found and sold these Skechers work shoes new before. So decent pickup, paying $20 a piece for those. I'll make some money. Only three pairs of shoes today, but it's some good profit coming in. No cleaning involved. Here's a couple of nice items. I picked up this Canon camera. Uh, this one is Sure Shot Max Date, $4.99. I looked it up. Looked like it was selling for like $40, $50. So not a bad pickup at $4.99. And the same with this glove. What is this? That must have fell out of this box there. But I got this glove. This is a Mizuno glove. It's a higher end. The only one I could find on eBay had sold for $51 on auction. So I'm probably going to price this between $60 and $75. I'll have to look on Terapeak just to see if there's any that sold in the past year that maybe I can get a better gauge on it. But absolute minimum, you know, I'm selling it for $50. So for $4.99, that's great. Then right here, I got this Cincy Nightmare Before Christmas thing. It's new in box. It was $2 uh, at the rummage sale I went to. This was the only thing I got. I bought it blind. You know, it sells for like, I think $20 plus shipping is what I could sell it for. I might just end up using it. I don't know. Some of these Scentsy warmers can be really big money. I figured that this one probably wasn't great. There are some Nightmare Before Christmas Scentsy warmers though that do go to, you know, $100, $150. Unfortunately, this just wasn't it. So I think this is a pretty good pickup. I got all these Hallmark Lionel Train ornaments. I got them because they were only 99 cents a piece. They're all themed. They're all Lionel Train sets from over the years, which means I can just lot them all together and sell them as a big lot and make some money. I think I have 25 in here. So I got $25 into them, but you know, it's not huge money even lotting them up and even getting them cheap like this because I think I could still sell these for anywhere between 60 to $75. I'll probably try $75. I don't know. Selling these by themselves, most of them sell for like $8 used. I don't know. Some of them might be new. I think some of them are definitely used because I, I opened one. This was at batteries and the batteries had, you know, been removed. So it's pretty easy just to sell these, make a lot. That's why I bought them. The only issue is getting the stickers off of 25 of these, which people ask me all the time, Wick, how do you get your stickers off? I've mentioned it many times. I use a hair dryer. I have the hair dryer on a stand. So I just turn it on, hold it under there. Heat up the sticker, use a Scotty pillar, and it usually just comes right off, especially if it's the sticker's just been put on like these have. So I'll have to make sure these don't go in the death pile, or I'll have a very hard time if I wait next year to sell these or something because the sticker will be like embedded in there. But really not bad. If there's any sticky residue, I just use Goo Gone and a little 
paper towel, something that has a little abrasion, and just rub it off. Cleans it up nicely. But I think I'll make at least $40 profit on these in the end. So here's some local buys I got, and I picked up these Cincinnati Reds collectible bobbleheads, and I paid $15 for both of them. Comps are a little weird on them, but I did see some listed in the $45 to $75 range. I can't even remember now if I, I seen comps for these exact ones, but I'm probably going to try to get at least $45, $50 a piece for them, so I think I'll make some money. And this is sort of a collectible Lionel train, which um, actually very themed day for Lionel stuff. Here's these. And then I bought this one. I paid $50 for this and there's some comps in $80 to $100. But what's left on eBay, what's still listed as new or new open box is around $150, $175. So I'm probably going to price this about $125 plus shipping. Worst case scenario, you know, I lower it down and I make a little bit of money, you know, like $30. But I'm shooting to make $50 profit there. So this is kind of neat, I guess. This is some sort of Miracle Blade knife set. And it was $12.99. I wasn't even going to mess with it. And I just happened to notice that, hey, all these knives are still new in there. And the comps looked okay. I saw some selling, I think, around $45, $50 for a set like this. I don't know what this is. I thought it was a something to hold the knives. But maybe it was just one of those things that the company sent you. If you buy it, it looks like a juicer or something. I don't know what that is, but I didn't see any listed on eBay that had this with it, so I'll have to figure that out. But I do think I'll make at least $25. They're new, so I'll give them a shot. I've never sold Miracle Blades before. And speaking of Lionel Trains, I think I'll mention this real quick. I bought this about a month ago, this Battleship game. It was severely taped, like, all around here. And I didn't want to just try to tear it open to open it, so I just bought it blind. I figured, you know, if it's missing pieces, I can return it. Or I had another one I was selling, I could just combine the pieces to make a full set. Yesterday I was doing an Amazon shipment, so it's like, oh, here this thing is. Let me open it up, see if the pieces are in there or whatever. <laughs> I opened it up and well, there's no battleship in there. It's actually a Lionel train set. And some of these pieces are actually pretty good. I looked up some of them. I think there's 75 to $100 worth of stuff here to sell. I paid $4.99 for the game. So, you know, I always say open stuff at thrift stores because you never know what you're going to get. In this case, it worked out. <laughs> when I first opened it, I saw, I'm like, oh no, I got ripped off. My fault for not investigating it earlier, but it turned out it worked out in my favor. I actually probably will make more money on this stuff. Uh, just kind of a, a funny chain of events. I usually don't buy anything Lionel. And then all of a sudden I just have like three things to list. A lot of ornaments and a actual train and some, you know, more vintage trains. So Hey, it works out. Got this vintage 49ers hat that Beast is wearing here. Is that his name? Beast? It doesn't seem right. Anyway, I, uh, this hat was better than I thought. I looked it up. It's AJD. I saw some selling around $20, $25, so $1.49. I had to buy it. It's in good condition. Same with the, the Beast here. Uh, $3.99. It's in good condition. I was looking up comps, and they were selling anywhere between $20 and $45. It's clean. It's in good condition, so I'm going to give it a shot hopefully make about $20 profit on that here's a unicorn I bought and I didn't know if this was going to be valuable I thought hey it's worth looking up because there's this you know number on it and it's universal I can't even see that I don't have my glasses on but you might be able to on video 1981 so I looked it up and well they're on eBay and they're actually selling not for a whole lot anywhere between $25 and $45 I thought I saw some comps for so we went ahead and bought it. I'll give it a shot. Below it for only $5.99 is this bun coffee maker. And I bought this because it is new. And it looks like it was selling for at least $100 plus shipping on eBay. I believe this is considered a commercial one. Just crazy at that price. You're going to make some great profit on it. And then I got some Home Depot clearance buys. I got this indoor load center with cover. This was $25. It is new. And I should be able to sell that for I think about $80, $90 plus shipping on eBay. It'll be easy to sell. All I gotta do is slap a label on it and ship it in the box it's in. Then I got these roof and gutter de-icing kits and these were marked down from 60 to I think $15 a piece and this isn't all of them. I actually have five more that I went ahead and shipped off to Amazon to sell. And I've sold these before. I've got them on clearance years ago at a Lowe's. And I remember selling them in the, the heart of winter where everyone wants them. And Amazon sold out. And I ended up selling them for like $120 a piece. Not banking on that happening again. But I figure I'll just ship the rest of them in when 
you know, we're in deep winter, so I, I have a chance of at least getting a better price. But I think I'll average, make at least $25 a piece on these. I'll have to count how many I have and just put the total on the screen. But there it is, everybody. That's my haul for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button for me. It really helps. Subscribe, leave me a comment, all those things. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Till next time.